Australia's pleading its case with the Trump administration to be spared heavy tariffs that the US president is about to slap on steel imports. The trade ministers asked for an exemption. But China, which will certainly be hit, is taking a tougher approach, warning that it won't stand by and let its interests suffer. Here's National Affairs correspondent Greg Jennett. From his American-made plane to his all-American chopper, the US president's back in Washington to put up the metallic trade wall he threatened last week. What's been allowed to go on for decades is disgraceful. Trading partners are in meltdown. Japan's biggest steel makers worried. Germany's trying to head off a full-blown trade war. A trade war would be in nobody's interest. And Australia's arguing for a reprieve. Protectionism is a dead end. The prospect of a steel tariff is as old as the Trump presidency and was the subject of lobbying in Washington last week. We're working on trade deals. The world is changing. Now the rates are massive 25% and with blue scope steel exports on the line, it's intensifying again. Ultimately, I believe it'll come down to a decision of the president's about whether he wants to have exemptions or not. Steve Chobo pressed his case for an exemption to the Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross this weekend. The result was inconclusive. We are absolutely clear we want to see more trade, more open markets. Australia's as well placed as anyone to secure an exemption, especially because Donald Trump had offered one to Malcolm Turnbull in talks in Germany last year. But that's no consolation to the biggest players in the market. It may even fuel their anger. They're already talking about retaliation. Ahead of a yearly meeting of its parliament, China's spoken of wanting to avoid a trade war. But we will absolutely not sit by and watch as China's interests are damaged. And with the European Commission musing about slapping import duties on American Harley Davidson bikes, President Trump shot back. If the EU wants to further increase their already massive tariffs, we will simply apply a tax on their cars, he tweeted, adding that European and brands are freely pouring into the US. The stakes are high, even for countries supplying raw resources. OK, I'm going to see you in chance. And while the Prime Minister's been publicly buoyant all weekend... I'm a firm believer that politicians should stay fully clad at all times. There you go. The risk is someone could lose their shirt if a trade war is not averted. Greg Jennett, ABC News, Canberra.